Hello, this is Dan Bashenbauer from Video Pizzazz. And today I'm going to show you how to create a Google Tag Manager container and integrate that with Facebook for pixel tracking on a new business that I'm starting called Amazing Social Media Cover. All right, so here's the website that I want to be tracking. I just added this service to my video marketing company and I think everybody would find this very useful. And currently I'm offering a free Facebook cover design that would be awesome for marketing your products and services. So check it out. First thing I'm going to do is go over to Google Tag Manager and this is associated with a Gmail account. So whether you have a Gmail account for email or for YouTube, either one would work. So once you log into that Gmail account and go to tagmanager.google.com, you will automatically get logged into that Gmail account that's associated. And I can see my little emblem right up here, which shows me that I'm logged in as Video Pizzazz. Now I've already created an account called Video Pizzazz LLC, and I created a container and what a container means in Google Tag Manager is just the snippet of code that tr does all the tracking for you that you need to implement on your websites or landing pages. So I'm, I'm not sure why they call it a container, but they do. All right, so today I want to add a new container for amazing social media cover. So I can come over here next to my account name, click on the three dots here. And I'll click on create container and I'll put in the URL of my website, amazingsocialmediacover.com. And this is a web application. So I'll click on web, click on create. Now they're just telling us that this code here should be placed in the head on your website. And this code here should be placed in the body. So I'll just say, okay. And you'll see up here now that under Video Pizzazz LLC, I'm in uh, amazingsocialmediacover.com. So I've, if I click on tags, there are no tags currently at this time. I will be creating a Facebook tag later on in this video. And if I go back here to accounts, I'll now see that I have two containers. One is for videopizzazz.com and one is for amazingsocialmediacover.com. Okay, so now let's go to Facebook and I'll use this pull down here. And in my case, I have a business manager account set up and I would highly recommend setting up a business manager account if you're going to be doing Facebook advertising or managing anybody else's accounts. So I will click on that and I'll come up here on business manager, click on pixels. I'll click on set up pixel. I am going to integrate this with a tag manager, which is the Google tag manager. So I'm going to select this today and you can integrate with all these different applications here. I'm going to select Google tag manager and I'm going to do the quick install where it'll use the interface to publish Facebook pixel code directly into the Google tag manager. So I'll select that and the Facebook pixel installation wants permission to access your Google tag manager. I'll say allow. Okay. So it went out and found the Google tag manager account and my account name is video pizzazz LLC. So I'll select that. So the container that I want to set this up on right now is amazing social media cover.com is gives me my container ID. And again, a container is just that snippet of code that we're going to put on our website that tracks our activities. So let's select that website or that container. So by default, the base pixel code is activated here. And it says that this is required for Google Tag Manager. So we'll leave that, but we're gonna add a new tag so I'm going to call this tag name Facebook lead thank you page event. I'm going to use the pull down here 
and you have all these different events that you can trigger off of. I am going to trigger off a lead in the firing options once per page in the firing triggers. All right, so I think I'm all set to go here. Here's my tag name. Event is going to be a lead. Firing options is once per page. Firing triggers. I only have the option to do all pages. And parameters, these would have to be parameters that I've predefined in Google Tag Manager. And I didn't define any for this test case. So I can click on Add. Now I can click on Next. And I have completed all the steps here. They're all checked at green. Here are the tags, the basic Facebook pixel base code that's required. And then I added in a Facebook lead thank you page and I will click on publish okay so it says here that the Facebook pixel was published to Google tag manager and we need to check the status of our Facebook ads manager and make sure that the pixels are active and it could take up to 20 minutes all right so let's go to Google tag manager all right so we'll click on workspace we we'll use the pull down here and we'll select amazing social media covers okay and when social amazing social media cover.com shows up here we can come down here and click on tags now we will see the two tags that were created from the Facebook walkthrough here's our pixel base code and here's our Facebook lead thank you code so if I click on this I will see that code click out of that and if I click on the thank you page code you'll see here that it inserted this code right here called lead all right so if we go back to Facebook now we'll click out of this close this out let's just come back in fresh to Facebook click on our business manager click on business manager pixels Here's a new feature for viewing your pixel information. It says here, take the tour. You can find your pixel code here. See custom conversions and custom audiences and quickly edit your pixel name and then share your pixel with other ad accounts. And we can see up here that there's more enhancements coming on May 20th. They'll start sending additional event data, including button clicks and related page metadata. But we can click here to view the pixel code. And we don't need to do anything with this now because it's already been incorporated into our Google Tag Manager. So now we need to get our Google Tag Manager code or container information and paste that onto our website or capture page. So I want amazingsocialmediacover.com. So I'll click on that. And then you'll see your container ID here. Click on that. And then you get the Google Tag Manager code that you need. So it says here that this code needs to be placed in the header on your website. And this code here needs to be placed in the body tag of your website. So again, if I refresh my website page here before I do anything, before I add the Google Tag Manager code, and I click on here to check Facebook pixel it says there's none found so I'm going to place those on my landing page for social media cover so I logged into my back office click on landing pages click on the social media cover split test here and up to the top here we've got page details funnel details confirmation page automation and retargeting so I'm gonna click on retargeting tab okay so then i'm selecting the retargeting tab all pages and then i'll come in here and i'll paste in the google tag manager code both sections click on save it says tracking pixel has been saved successfully so now if we come back over to amazing social media cover.com refresh it come over here and you'll see a number two here now under the facebook pixel helper if I click on that, 
It says that there's one pixel found on AmazingSocialMediaCover.com. Here's the pixel ID and a page view and a lead is selected. So the Google Tag Manager also provides you with a debug and preview area before you actually publish it to make sure everything is working okay. So you come over here, make sure you've got the right container selected here, and then come over and use the pull down here and click on preview next to preview and debug. Then click on share preview. So then put in the uh, URL of your destination website here. And when you do that, it actually adds it down here to this big long URL. So then if you copy this, paste that into a new tab, it says your browser is now in preview and debug mode. Visit the site. So if I click here, so the Google Tag Manager comes up here and it says the tags fired on this page were Facebook lead thank you and pixel base code. And that's what I was looking for. So that's working. So once that's verified and working, we can go back to Google Tag Manager, click out of this, click on leave preview mode, click OK. All right, so we verified that the Facebook pixel code worked by just going to our page here and it has a number two here. We can click on that and it says one pixel found. So the Facebook pixel is being located on our page. And we just verified that the Google Tag Manager is fine. It's happy with everything. So we can just click on publish. So we'll click here to give it a name. Just say initial setup. And we'll put this in here. This was initial setup for inserting Facebook tracking pixel code into the Google Tag Manager. And click on publish. So here's our initial setup now. It was created today by Video Pizzazz. And here's the description. It has two tags. Here are the two tags. All right, and we're set to go. So that was the walkthrough of installing a new Facebook pixel with in a Google Tag Manager for conversion tracking and then place that Google Tag Manager code onto your landing page or website. I hope you found that useful and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.